Got a little bit of a busy day at the moment. I've just been editing a video. We just done a video on the donuts. That didn't turn out too well, as you've probably seen. But uh, Jimmy's put me on the spot because he's, he's at work today, but he's just bought two doors off of an old scrap car. Well, I say an old scrap car, it's a new scrap car. Trouble is, it's in Birmingham, and I need someone to help me take it. So have a guess who I've called upon. Oh, look who it is. Look, he's here again. Look, yeah, that's a handy table you've got there, isn't it? Look, where is it? Hey? <laughs> you look like Val Doonigan. Oh, right, yeah. Hey? Shall I sing for you? Not really, no. Walk tall, walk straight, and look walk the world. Walk tall, train round and look. Pull your trousers around your gruelish, will you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't forget, folks, in the last video, he had that puncher, didn't he? Oh, it's a bit dark here, look. You always start standing in shadows, yeah. didn't you? Uh, is there any odd chance of a wish list? What for? Me, me, what's he doing? Eh? Hey? Get out of it. He's, lo he's losing <laughs> his Rolex tomorrow. <laughs> No, no not him, Merlin. <laughs> he's having his, he's having his, chop, his uh, crown jewels taken off tomorrow, folks. Come on, pull yourself up. <laughs> pull yourself up. Don't pull yourself off. No, not like last time. Come on, let's go. Right, we're going to go outside, folks. He's put his wheel back on his van himself this morning, didn't you? Yeah. His tyre. Right, off we go then, folks. Got a lot of work to do, Lister. As you can see, there's, uh, there's your Corvette. <laughs> there's your Corvette. Hey? No, that's an eight yarder. Never. He said, I said that to him. Never. I said that to him, and he said it is an eight yarder because it's wider than normal. It don't look like eight yarder to me. And to I, to I, to I, well, I did say that. I've been in the business for a now. Well, of course you have. But I know what an eight yarder skip looks like. Yeah. He said it's an eight yarder because it's slightly wider than normal. Yeah, it says a six. Got loads of work to do, folks. Anyway, come on, let's go. We've got to go to Birmingham. And the time at the moment you, is quarter past two in the afternoon, folks. I can tell you a story about a skip. What's that then? Well, when I used to be building, and when I was first started when I was a young lad... Oh, yeah? Uh, old Fred said... Uh, Fred? Yeah, the old eight-yarder skip came. Yeah. He said, and um, he put it down there, and he said, we got the, co the concrete was coming. Oh, yeah. Three metres of concrete. Yeah. He said, but don't make a mess in the road. Right, is this going to take long? No. So, anyway, I was with old Paddy, young lad, and oh, when the driver come, he said, where do you want it? And I thought, well, I can't make a mess, I ain't got no polythene. I said, put it in the skip. You couldn't, you wouldn't believe it. Is that it? No, but we had to get it out the skip. Is that a joke? Or? No, it's true. I said, oh, well, we've done it. He said, yeah, you've done it all right. He said, but when they took the skip away, there was half a ton of concrete all over the road and had to get the, the old... I don't get it. There was holes in the bottom of the skip. There's holes here? Yeah, and I put the ready, ready mixed concrete... Mixed up concrete, oh, I see. ...in the skip. And we had to get it out, wheelbarrow it over, and when when they took the, sk the skip away... Yeah, there was all that stuff there. I've got it now. Oh, can we go now? There's residue of the concrete. Can we, can we go now? Onwards and upwards. Come on. You check that, forget that, don't put that in. It's <laughs> hey? Well, don't put it in. Oh, I'm going to put it in and show you what I have to deal with. <laughs> Hold on, folks. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, he's shutting the doors. Come on, open up. Let's have a quick look. All oh, you've done is shift it from that end to that end. No, I haven't. No, I've taken, hey? I've taken quite a bit out, actually. Are you sure? There's your shirts again up there. You'll never get into them, you know that, don't you? I will get into them. Anyway. Looks nice, though. Yeah, it's right. Looks tidier. Let's get in the car. Right, so... In we go, folks. It's tiny. Hey? That skip is tiny. In we go. It's, it does look smaller. Well, you've seen the skips I have. I know. That's an eight yarder, he told me. Well, folks, it's the day after now. Merlin's had his plums off, and he's here. He was really sort of not looking at us, not paying attention to us yesterday, but he's still a bit quiet today, let's show you. Merlin, he's still not quite happy, but he's got this bodysuit on, folks, look. But they did give us these, didn't they, Shell? Which the, the normal collars, but Sharon didn't like that, so we're keeping the bodysuit on. I thought you're not baby Frank over with them. And it's not, mind you, they're clear now. They never used to be clear, did they? So he, he has got vision. But we pay, the bodysuit was 20, yeah, 20 quid after yeah. paid for that. This was eight pounds, but it doesn't look like we're going to use it. But it was just Sharon come up with a great idea with that. If over the last two years we could have done that, look. And it could have been one of those, uh, Flu masks. I mean, Look, the glasses aren't steaming. Nothing up. steamed up. No. So if you've got a dog collar, like a, a surgical thing, there are a few of you still. You could have used that. Up. Look. Yeah. Look Still's at that. Eight quid, folks. Yeah. Look. 
And it fits her perfectly, look. And it's adjustable. To it's adjustable, it. you can adjust it, look. So yeah, that's what we, I was gonna let her go shopping with it anyway. Just in case, you never know, do you? You might catch something, yeah? <laughs> it suits you, actually. Thanks. And in fact, you talk about getting a haircut. If we pull it down a bit further, we can just cut round there like that, and you can have a little tuft of hair as well. You know, like they have, Sharon. Just a fault. Right, <laughs> or if it was, uh, hold on, how else could you use that? I was thinking about Lee. You could put it on the front like that. If you go and you could spray a fringe on for him. If I, yeah, you could just cover it all in, <laughs> spray it all in. <laughs> so yeah. Are you joking, Lee? We won't be. We won't be using that anyway. So, uh, uh, what are we doing now anyway? You're doing some bit of decorating, aren't you? Well, I've got to strip the walls in the bedroom. I'm yeah. starting that. Yeah, she's uh, the wallpaper fell off behind the wardrobe in uh, one of our spare rooms, and uh, she's had a bit of mould behind it, so oh. we're going to have to treat the wall as well. But anyway, that's coming up. Look who's uh, loitering here, folks. Look, 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 look. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Trying to check on you, look. And we've just been sent these, folks. No, I wanted one on Sharon. <laughs> We just got sent these, folks. These was on our Amazon wish list, and also some uh, bracelets. Because we do post a lot of stuff off, so thank you very much. This come from Mark Foster, folks. Thank you very much. So thank you, Mark. So we can sit there with our little plastic hats on. <laughs> these are handy for the microwaves, folks. Yeah. When you're putting meals in there and uh, covering them up, saves them spitting and covering your microwaves and just up. Just when you've done dinners and you left them on the side, or you leave them on the side. Yeah. Sometimes we have a salad and we don't want to put it in the microwave and just cover them up with them things. They're very handy, then, folks. So yeah. thank you very much. Thanks very much, Mark, for your uh, little donation. Not a donation, really, is it? It's a gift, isn't gift it? Gift on fire, off of our wish list. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Shirley. I'm going to update. Let's go out, baby. What it looks like with that bit on top. Does it fit? Oh, God, yours. Yeah. Why don't it sit on your head? Got Look, I'm like a Cyberman, Sharon. Unbelievable. Oh, it did steam up when I was in this, yeah? I'm a heavy breather, aren't I? Go on, you can put them away. They can go in the cupboard. It was a tight fit on your head. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mark. Much yeah. appreciated. Yeah, that, as I say, that come off our wish list. Thank you very much Which, indeed. I'm just going to go and update now, because Peter have asked to put things on for the dogs. Yeah. Which you're going to do now, Sharon. Yes. I'm going to put some Canuckers on for him. Put some what? Some Canuckers. Don't do that with your hands, Sharon. Oh. Just one more thing, baby. What's that? That I just they sort of started a video where I was taking Lee. No, we went to Bur Bur Birmingham. Bur 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 Birmingham, yeah, we went to Birmingham, me and Lee. I didn't film no footage because it was too dark, folks, so sorry about that. But no doubt he will appear a bit further down the line in one of our other videos. He's, or like, he's our rotten penny. Or maybe, maybe even this video showing a bit further down the line. You know what he's like. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's why that video ended sort of abruptly because... Uh, was he getting on your nerves? He was getting on my nerves. And I had to go to the toilet in his van, didn't I? Oh, yeah. And then he been up the bottle to drink. I had, yeah, I, I had to go to the toilet. We were both in the front seats. And I had, I had to unload, folks. I wasn't going in the back of his toilet in his chamber. No, I call good. it the is chamber. It, is it cleaned? I don't. I couldn't even find it under all the crap he's got in there. So I ended up going in the bottle, folks. Kneeling in the footwell while he's driving along. I had to take my seatbelt off while... Nearly in the footwell, facing the window, the side window. I said, "Get on!" I said, "Get on the inside lane, shall so people can't see me." Otherwise, I'd have had to be sitting there with a bottle and waving at them. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Go on. That's one of the new colours that Stacey does. So that's a small A5 size, which I think's great. Oh, it's lovely size. Yeah, look at that. Look. And also, she's doing now venturing into. If you've got a dog and you want your own dog if on you there, you haven't got a dog and you want that to put people off. Yeah. And as you can see, who's modelling these signs, beautiful. Yeah, lovely. You could get one with me on it, shall you? Yeah, beware the husband. That's not a bad idea. There are some wives that might like that. Yeah, of course they will. He likes to rant. So, yeah, that's all links for them, folks, are in the uh, description below of this video. And obviously for any merchandise or stuff, uh, he's, he's Mrs. Project Man's Mrs. makes them all. Uh, home, so it's a small home business. So you're not only supporting us, you're supporting a little home business as well. That's if you're interested in them. But don't forget, all the links are below the video anyway in the description board there, as well as links to other things in there as well. Anyway, what are you doing, baby? We found a place as well, Shao, that does these gas bottles, didn't we? Yes. Hey? Eh? Gary found it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, he found it. So uh, I'll put the link again below the description as well. And they're, they're pretty cheap. They're about, well, I think it's £1.50 a bottle, Shao, isn't it? Yeah. Was but it £1.50 a bottle? Something like that, wasn't it? Don't forget, in the summer, folks, we got them for a pound a bottle because all the camping shops and all that stocked them. So um, 
hopefully when they come back in stock again, places back like season, really, I suppose. places like B and M, Home Bargains, all that sort of stuff, they had them all in there for a pound a bottle. Whether or not they will go up, I don't know. But we bought a job lot back then, and that's why we're running them now, basically. So, and yet again, as I say, another month of our bills going down again. And I'll show you again uh, this graph. This is our gas and electricity bills. And this is what it looks like anyway on both of the gas and electric compared to the same time last year. So there you go, folks. It might be trickery, magic, I don't know, but it works for us. Sure, we've cut down using stuff. Sure, we don't put the boiler on as much as we do. And we're not using all them rings over there. We're using the air fryers a lot more now. Well, in fact, we're using the air fryers all the time now. And the slow cooker as well. And also the slow cooker there. And as I say, just our little hobs. We have got two of them. Can we say how lovely that kebab was? Oh, it was fantastic, shall we? We've seen that already. Absolutely beautiful, folks. We ended up, folks, look, we've still got that left over. And that's another kebab. That's, that's, that's two kebabs there, Sharon, surely. Well, one with your you're having it, two if I'm having it. Look at that. But how many did we make all together? I had two, you had one. Five, isn't it? Jimmy had one, Charlotte had one. Uh, that was five kebabs. And he was in the fridge last night. Eating. And I was having a little go in the fridge last night with it sort of thing, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, you, you probably get about eight in total. Now, don't forget, as Sharon said in the video, the meat might sound like a lot when you buy it, which was probably about, including all the salad stuff, probably about 15 pounds with the meat and the salad stuff. But if you got a kebab for seven pound each, and you took eight, what's eight sevens here? Oh, that would have been, yeah, eight, seven, 14, 21, 20, 28, what's 28, 56, isn't it? it yeah, 56 there. pounds that would have been, folks. Wow. So I mean, all, all that cost us mm -hmm. is 15 odd quid. And the uh, pizza breads, if anybody asks, they come from Lidl. Right, they're just a little pit of they're bread. They were the brown ones, and they were really nice. They actually. was quite tasty, actually. Very light, actually, not a heavy pit of bread. Yeah. Some are a bit heavy and doughy, but that's You've got to give nice. that a go, folks, if you're tight. I'll say it to Sharon, right? What we would probably do now, because you don't want to, and it's not like a takeaway, it's a healthy food. Yeah. It turns a, 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 a takeaway grease laden food into a healthy food, right? Because. Yeah, because sometimes when you have a kebab, you get well, like greasy you, lips and well, it's not only that shell in the bottom of the bowl because they it's when they pull the 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 kebab meat out of the, uh, the, the the containers that they you know when they shave it all off then they put it in them containers mm. in that containers you can guarantee there's loads of oil sitting oh, in the bottom yeah. there and that when they take it out and put it in your thing sometimes when you open your kebab when you get it home there's loads of oil in the back bottom of it but that's not in there but oh fantastic yeah that's all we're gonna do now we're gonna say so, Right, we're going to say Saturday night. night. Yeah, Saturday night. We're going to have a kebab on Saturday night. We'll buy the lamb in. We'll mince it up, make it up. And even if you make it the day before, Sharon, oh, it'll probably develop day, even yeah, more the flavour. Yeah. And then on the day, we're going to cook it. we just whack it in there, put it up to the five hours, and then carve it thin like that way we did it. And, oh, we're saving a fortune on the takeaways as well, then. And was from the butchers. Yeah. Yeah, go to your butchers and get your lamb mince. I don't see lamb mince so much in supermarkets, very much so. It was from our butchers. Yeah, anyway. He, he did make it up in, there and then. In, in, enough of that, baby. Yeah, it was lovely though. Yeah, well, let's go and do something else. See you in a minute, folks. Well, we're out shopping again, folks. We've come to Lidl we've again. And they said that there's a new um, air fryer out, Sharon, didn't no, they? No, Audi have got a Two bars. Oh, right, so it's Audi. We're in Lidl, aren't we? They got I one, just see they've, they've got, got some advertised there. I don't know what they are, folks. Look, it's a 49.91. That looks like a very small one, to be honest with that's you. But, more, uh, that's more interest to me. You like that, didn't you? Yeah, I love things but, like um, that. We have noticed there's one coming out for Audi and it's it comes out, out, today. out of sale everywhere. So uh, they're only a cheap one. It's supposed to be a dual tray one, Sharon, isn't it? £90, wasn't it? Yeah, £90 or something like that. But the elements are smaller in it, folks. But uh, anyway, let's do a bit of shopping and we'll see you in there. Right, here we are, baby. Your hair's what looking nice, Sharon. It's a mess in this <laughs> I know, but you've had it cut though, haven't you? Yeah, I'm happy it's it's gone. Gone. they got a lot of the old uh, Christmas stuff out now, Sharon. I noticed, look, the old, um, this sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, is it? That's wrong, is it? I, I, I was going by the box. It looks a bit fancy, that box, Sharon. No, it's always in there. Mind you, I suppose we've got bigger gammon joints out there. Yeah, bigger gammon joints, folks, as you can see. I'll bring you out that hole you dug. What are you looking at there? It's a bit beetroot too, so no. No, you're not a big beetroot fan, are you? Vegas. But they're so much cheaper when you get a sandwiches, folks, if you eat that lot. I've got a cheese and 189, look. Oh no, that's that par Palm oh, Heavy. that sounds nice. What's that? Hold on. What's that? You trying that, are you? I have got my normal. What have you got, baby? 
Cheese and onion. Have a look around, folks. We've got people in here today. I don't think they'll have it in here, shall they? Yes, they have. Have they? Where? Yeah, they do lamb meat. 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 There we go. That's twenty percent fat in that, which isn't a problem, I suppose. But for four thirty-nine, you could use uh, three of them, I suppose. How could you? That's, that's that, even that give you. A, that's even given a little bit, isn't that's it? Five, no. Oh, that's it. Four, five five hundred grams. That's fifteen. Three of them. Twelve. Be, it's the same. Be it's fifteen a quid. Same price. Yeah. There you go. You getting one of them? Yeah, I'm Try a gammon steak in the air fryer. Yeah, that should cook all right. How much should I? Three pounds fifty. Two smoked gammon steak. You could do that with um, egg and chips, I suppose, couldn't you? Gammon yeah. egg and chips. That's an old-fashioned meal, baby, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So we'll have a go at doing that, folks. A little again, a nice, cheap, pretty cheap meal, anyway. And uh, hey. Eh? No, not yet. No, I'm gonna take me to try that. What about some German sausage? I like these old bratwurst ones, don't I? Get them then. Where are they? Yeah, I think one's down there. That's different ones, that's not bratwurst. Oh, is that not what we normally have, is it? No. Where's the bratwurst? Let's have a look. Oh, look at them ones. Brockwurst? Mini brockwurst. Like hot dogs, them ones, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, get them ones then. Someone mentioned about making them balls, Sharon. These, don't they like fr frickers? Oh, you like them, don't they? Frickadian balls or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called exactly, but. Uh, we do get them. Jimmy likes picking at them, doesn't he, Sharon? Ooh, right in there. Mm. Yeah, we're out of cheese. We use the last lot. We like the uh, extra mature, don't we? Yeah, so much choice, folks. So much choice. Anything there you need? We got mozzarella. Get one of those uh, feta Greek style cheeses, Sharon. What's that? Soft cheese. Mm. Got chili in it. What is that? Vegan. Oh, vegan cheese. No, that's not cheese. Uh, one of those Greek style feta cheese. I like that in a salad crumbled up. Yeah, we'll have a look down the uh, middle aisle in the middle, folks, just to see if they've got any of the old air fries. They're selling that lot of hotcakes everywhere. We have the uh, almond unsweetened milk. We don't have cow's milk, shall we? The blues are lovely, aren't they? The old Christmas stuff. We don't normally look at this, shall do we? Oh, Sharon likes all this sort of stuff. Look. That's them uh, like little. Not slow globes, but they light up and they make. Yeah. Uh, what they start going round and round on the train going. Yeah. Oh, I love it. We don't like. We like all the old Christmas stuff, folks. Look. What are they? How much is that? They're quite deep there. Look, seventeen ninety nine. How much? Seventeen ninety nine. The Christmas uh, little ones. I don't know what that big one. That's oh, that, that's forty quid there. Look. Saying that once you've got it, you've got it, haven't you? Of course you have. Brush your hair. It's all over the place. It lasts for years. Little snow globes, musical snow globes. Nice. What you it's got there? Like all the Christmas bits in, look, for people. Oh, yeah, look, all your stuff for making your cakes, folks. Look, it's all there. Toppers. Yep. It's old Somebody time. asked about where I got the dried mixed fruit from. Let's put it in here. Do you see the um, the little silver balls? You know the little balls you used to get? Yeah. I know they do these now, but when I was a kid, they used to have them hard silver balls that you can't crunch. They're like blinking ball bearings, they look like. But if you're in the cake making, folks, there's a good selection of stuff. Yeah, Christmas is slowly easing its way in now to the supermarkets. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. What's that smell of? Nice. Smells lovely, doesn't it? I do love a nice candle. You can't beat candlelight, baby. Might want to stock up and who's if the power cuts. <laughs> well, we've just got older regenerator shower, haven't we? Which I'll be reviewing on my uh, retro restore channel. It's a three and a half thousand watt uh, generator, so keep your eyes out for that one on my retro restore channel. As I say, we don't normally look down the middle aisle, so thought we'd bring the middle aisle to you folks because a lot of people do look in, you do get some good bargains here sometimes. There we go. what's happened to their own tomato sauce you just yeah. can't get it you can get their brown sauce now there's always plenty of that the and the barbecue but the red sauce is this type for example you can't seem to get they used to do this in, in this shape bottle 
but it's now this sort of stuff now so I don't know what's happening there and those ones are too big to go in our cupboard for the shelves get another chicken soup shall get another chicken soup a lot of you said that uh, well not a lot of you actually there's a few of you said that oh you, you why didn't you make your own white sauce for the chicken pie well we were just showing that it's a shortcut you can make chicken pie sauce with a tin of chicken soup that's all that was folks they know I can make white sauce. of course they do you know she can make white sauce anyway so you should have to ask that question oh well back on the middle aisle folks just had a woman come up to us and shout out baby Sharon didn't we yeah. now I said she's down there she said she's gonna make the chicken and mushroom pies tonight so she's doing her shopping now in it if you are watching happy days hello nice to see you baby says hello too baby says hello too yeah I see there's no air fryers in there I don't know yeah seems to be out of them Uh, two pints of milk. That's, that's not for us, by the way, eh? Thank you. That's two, pints of beer, two pints of beer and a packet of crisps, please. That, yeah. that was the song, wasn't it? Two pints. I used to be cooking. Though. Oh, of course you do, yeah. I've just asked the uh, one of the blokes there doing the shelf for you, has he got any air fryers left, folks? And he said, none in stock. Well, I'm going to have to order one myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah
Anyway, so what do you actually want? You come around for something, don't you? Yeah, I've come around for, um, I, I borrowed a bill. It's been, if you watch his vlog, that's Lee Van Camp, by the way, any of you who don't actually know. Yeah. I'll leave a link below for his, uh, his, uh, his, his channel. Now on Bricktop. Check him out, check do, him out. Do you remember Bricktop? What's that for? No, when I put his on Bricktop. Oh, that's the film, um, is it Snatch or Lockstock? Snatch. Snatch, isn't it? Yeah, when he says, you are on effing thin ice. Yeah. My, my... I don't have a bone and give a doggy. I'm doing Michael Caine. That's Michael Caine. I don't have a dog and bark myself. Is that something like he says, is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, anyway. And Errol, get, no. No, Errol? Errol, is yeah, he, I know. he's psychic. Yeah, I know. He's psychic. He's a psychic, is he? Can he's, he read futures? He's psychic, yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what. What? I did do a video a long time ago with Bricktop. Do you remember? Yeah. Where I was in my jacuzzi in the garden. Oh, yeah. Is that on your channel still? Yeah, no, I took it off. Right. I was thinking of putting it back on. Do you think they're like that? Well, I asked them. I know it's not big in it. Do you? I asked them like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey? 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 I'll tell you. Hey? Like... hey? What? Oh, you got a flamenco. Hey? Flame I'll do that. Flamingo. Flamingo. Pink flamingo. Flamingo. Jimmy's over there, look. Hi, Jimmy. Jimmy's doing a little bit oh, of work. Yeah. Looking after his mate, his mate's car's got, got a bit of work need doing to it. Oh yeah, you've got to do mine, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. He's, uh, he's already told Jimmy that uh, he wants... Because he helped Jimmy the other day when we was on that journey at the start of this video, funny enough. Oh yeah. That's the start of this video. Yeah, yeah. Where well, we didn't film none of it, did we? The Birmingham heist, when we went down to Birmingham. Oh, the Birmingham heist. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We went down there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I bought him a Kentucky Fried Chicken Mill. Well, it's I, not called that anymore, I is it? I was going to go for the big it's one. It's KFC, isn't it? I didn't want to take the Mickey. Does that, do you want to take the Mickey? I'll it cost me what, blinking though. 80 quid in yeah, petrol. Yeah. He don't realise it's £9 a gallon, right? Mine, shall, not my van. Uh, <laughs> Lee, oh, darling, my, my van. cars take my, fuel and all. Hang on. Yeah, but my van only does 30 miles to the gallon. So yeah. you work it out. You ain't going to be Einstein, right? First of all, it gives me 40 quid. That's enough to get there. What did you think when I give you 40 quid? Well, I didn't think. I was trying to work it. He said, "Don't work it out. Don't work it out." Yeah, he well, said. I wouldn't be on my side. <laughs> don't work it out. Don't work it out. <laughs> so, of course, I didn't work it out. But then, when I'm driving, I'm thinking, "Hello, I've been done here." Of course, you have. <laughs> it's not me. It's Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, for paying you, not me. I ended up having yeah, to put then, forty quid in the game. You made out it was your money. I didn't make out it was my money. You Why bloody, do I say you that? Bloody, you bloody liar! You bloody. Rotter. I know you're lying because your blinking lips are moving. Rotter! You're bloody rotter. Anyway. So that's the start of the video, but we didn't finish off. We was going to film on the way, but the, the reason being is because it was dark outside. Yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah. you can sit right near to me for. Can you lean the other way? Well, I like... Well, you... Do you ever watch people on the sofa on, like, Good, oh, morning, right. Good morning Britain? OK. Yeah, and when I'll they don't like it. someone, they move right. away from them. That I'll means you must right. quite I'll, like me. Well, I'll look up there, then. I'll look at the sky. You're back here again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I like... It's, a, it's natural. I like a bit of room. I like to throw my arms about when I'm talking. I know that. I'll tell anyway. you what... Yeah. One day, when you do your <laughs> videos, yeah. especially you in the kitchen, oh yeah, tie your bloody hands up. I bet you can't. You won't know what to do. Listen, I like to move about when I'm talking. Sometimes you've got to make a point, and you emphasise a point by doing that. It does. Anyway, we've got to say thanks to people, me and Sharon. Yeah. Because they've uh, give us a few little donations. Oh. Not donations. They're called tips, isn't it? Yeah. Tip jar. Oh. Thank you for the videos you produce. That's nice. Yeah. We get quite a bit of that, and it's yeah. quite nice to say. Oh, I, I would love to, to, be to as, say thank get you. as big as him one day. You're a lot bigger than me, boy. Well, no, you're I a lot bigger than I me. I don't mean physically. Yeah. I mean, on the, he's doing bloody well on his channel, and I'll, I'll take my hair off to him. Don't you take know? your hair off, will you? No, I'll take my hair off to you. <laughs> you know what's coming up now, don't you? Yeah, I know. You know what's coming yeah. up now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Funny. Went into Rachel's cafe the other day. Oh, that's nice. Um, and I had, I had the old dude on. Yeah. Straight away, old Lee's wife said. You've dyed your hair. Yeah. He went, no, he's done It's not his that. hair. I said, I took it, well, I left it to be dyed. Yeah, it's not his hair. Uh, a lot of them haven't seen the, the clip of what you was like beforehand. No. Do you reckon I should play it now? And that way you might get a few more subscribers off of it. You could do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah the bit where I'm... Watch this clip, folks. This is him. How many years ago was that? Oh, Christ. It's about five four, five years ago. Five, five years ago. About five years ago, he was in such just a dilemma. Had, just before we had our uh, our tiff, he didn't talk to me for two years. It wasn't that I couldn't put up with you no more. You never told me what it was all about. Hey, you had more hair than me. <laughs> <laughs>
I wonder what it was. Watch this. You'll love this, folks. You'll love this. And I beg of you, please, afterwards, join his channel. Give him some more subscribers. Can you imagine I've been looking forward to it? I went in there and I, I, I shaved the head and, um, and I'm looking like Coco the Clown. So anyway, cut long story short, they come in and they, um, you got to put the glue on the head. I, I didn't know, I couldn't believe how much you put on. I'm, I'm looking all the time, I'm sitting there watching so I can see the, the transformation. And, oh yeah, this is, this is looking nice. And I've got six inches of air coming down. All of a sudden, she's blow dried it and God knows what. And it looks like a bleak mop on my head. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, I've never had so much air in all my life. It's what you wanted. I know, and I'm thinking, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. So, he's had a little look in the mirror, he sorted himself out. This is the sort of style that he's going to be going for. Could you take this man seriously? I certainly couldn't. Really? <laughs> you know what I do <laughs> Do charisma. Do charisma. Go on. Well, I don't know. I've just had my hair up. I hope you like it. I, I hope you've kept the receipt. Well, I hope so too. I didn't put my hat on, my hair. Ooh, I scoffed it. And now you would never know. Look, you'd never know. You never know. I'm bored as a coon on top. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking, I spent that money and, and I don't like it. I created a car and, and I'm looking at it and I'm, I'm pushing it this way, pushing it that way. And I, I can't think straight. Anyway, I backed up, I hit a bloody lamppost. So I, I started pulling it and I'm pulling it. And of course, in the end, I, put, I start pulling it off. And as I was driving along, there's a bloke coming along me and he's looking and he, he's like, bloody hell and I've got this I'm pulling this off I've got all glue coming off it looks like I'm pulling my scalp off and I pull it off and I throw it down at the side of me and I'm driving and I look at it and it looks like a bleating dead edge hog and I nearly I nearly got hold of it and I nearly threw it out the window I thought no I'm not having it no I'm not having it no I'm not having it now I've never been um, happy with the uh, the wigs that I've, I've, I've tried in the past I can't, can't seem to get it right, so I've had to go for air system. I've tried all different wigs and I've tried to bring them into my day-to-day -day life. I was never really happy um, and I just, I just, I got upset and I, I went inside myself. And I've looked through thousands and thousands of books with wigs and I've tried them on, I've been to shops and I'm thinking, is it really me? Should I stay bald? I was hoping to meet lots of new friends with my wig, and I did. And um, but the thing is, it was a bit of a letdown because they're, they're all weirdos. Yeah, I, I used to just walk and daydream, thinking what it'd be like to have hair. And someone would shout, "Oi, wiggy!" And I'm thinking, is it really me? Should I stay bald? It's been a couple of days now, and I'm feeling really good. I think I looked the part. I think I walked the part. It's given me so much confidence now, I'm going to the shops now. I bought this box of chocolates for someone. And there they are. Well, I like to see people now. They they look at me in my, admiringly, or is it all in my brain? Am I dreaming? Some people are a little bit jealous, I think. And I have to put them in their place because I think they're going a little bit 
on top, you know. And I, I, I did tell them actually where to go, but they said they oh, no, never go there, never go there. And we know we're talking about, don't we? Am I pleased I've done it? Yes. My mate liked it so much. You know we're talking about it, don't you? Little Danny DeVito. I think he might go and get one. Oh, there you go, baby. Here we go, folks. Typical day. Typical Sunday this show, isn't it? You don't get dressed, do we, baby? No. Hey? No. Dinner on. One up, folks. Look. Second one, making a cup of tea or coffee. We've got our own Terminator. I'll be back. And what, what's the meat today, show? Uh, we've got pork in there. Roast pork, folks. Look. Gammon in there. What's the gammon for, show? Like a bit of gammon as well. Oh, gammon and pork. What have I got for, hey? have I got for dessert? <laughs> you ain't got anything. Oh. So we just got to say thanks to a few people, shall we? Oh, look at that, folks. She's carving. She's got the um, crackling off as well. The veg is on. That's out and being cooked. Can I try a little bit, baby? Oh. That pork is fantastic. How long is the pork in for, baby? Oh, about five hours. Slow cooker. So we've got, just got a couple of super thanks to give out, folks. Who we got there, baby? Jules W, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jules. John Lord. John Lord, thank, thank you, you again, thank John. You, and who else we got there? Steve the Transit Camper, and of course, Baby. He calls his Mrs. Baby as well, folks. Do check out There's Steve the Transit Camper. baby in the world. Do check out Steve the Transit Camper. He does some good videos. Oh, hello. Everything's coming together here at once, folks. So uh, we're going to carry on now. We're going to have our dinner, and uh, hopefully you'll be in the chat with us, and hope you've enjoyed the video. So don't forget, check out our other videos. A lot of you are binge-watching them, and we thank everyone for our support as well, and all those, also all those who leave lovely comments for us as well. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see so you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much, and welcome to all your newbies. Thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye, bye for now. Come on, baby, let's get cooking. Hey? Do you want a massage? No, I'm too busy. Later. Got it,